guys, it's Drew uh, with LawGuitars.com. I'm here with uh, Jerry Horton from Papa Roach. He's going to give us a quick look at his uh, gear for uh, the uh, Annihilation Tour. Okay, uh, these are the guitars. Uh, I have three tunings, uh, three main, three backup. Uh, this is my Drop D main. This is my new signature series. Um, and then... Uh, what kind of Duncan pickups are you running in these? Um, most of them are Jeff Beck and um, Jazz. Uh, I don't really spend much time on the, uh, the neck pickup, um, but when I do, it's mostly clean stuff, so I want it to have a pretty good tone. Um, this is the C, Drop C main guitar variation on my signature series um, it's it's uh, kind of a hot rod theme and uh, there's a lot of hot rods out there with this color uh, combination and I like it a lot very very cool and then uh, this is my drop C sharp main as you can see we have a little very very cool man uh, just for this tour um, this, I like this car, this guitar a lot it's because it's, uh, eh? it's, uh, it's actually Karina. Okay. And it's because this is a lower tuning, uh, that this Karina would, uh, helps bring out the mids in it and it, it makes it a little more present. Yeah. So this is my, uh, Pisces, um, inlay. This was on the uh, album cover for the Paramore Sessions. Very, very cool, man. And then, actually, I got. I guess I kind of have two main guitars for C sharp. Uh, I also have this uh, that I use on Scars and a new song called "The Enemy." And, you've got a um, and it's right here. yeah, it's got the Sustainiac. I popped that up so that we can transition between songs and. Uh, and that bridge pickup bit, that's like a radiator prototype from Duncan, eh? Yeah. Very yeah. Neat. Yeah, they, uh, this, they kind of custom made this from parts they had there, and I love it. Sounds great. Very cool. Okay, and then the rig. Greg's gonna be mad at me because I messed up this whole thing. Um, we have, it starts actually here. Actually, sorry, it starts here. We have the GCX um, set up with the loops for the pedals. Uh, and then I use the JMP1 preamp. We have two power amps, uh, the EL3400 and the Valve State 120. This power amp goes to 70 watt Marshall cabinet, and then this one goes to the 30 watt Marshall okay. cabinet. And then, uh, I also have the Boss GT Pro FX unit. Um, I like that unit. I like it because I don't really have enough room for all the pedals, and so if there's something that is a set sound, like a delay that I only use on one song, I can just have it. I don't have to mess with it. Um, and my tech Greg actually controls everything here uh, with the banks and. Um, then we have the pedals in line so that I can pop them on for little parts here and there. Uh, and we have in the pedals, we have two Screamer, uh, I believe this is the delay a reverb, a phaser, a whammy, and the line six delay. And the boost, an XR boost. Very, very cool. Now, your tube screen, is it a stock one or is it a modified? Uh, it's stock. Um, and then we have the Electrosonics wireless. Really, really cool. Good sounds. Really good. Um, I think that's about it. It seems kind of complicated, but the way we have set uh, the way we have set it up is it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Are you running a 
controller for a wah wah pedal in front? Yeah, we have a volume pedal and a and a wah pedal up front, and I have my I have my own board. We can run it independently. The, this is actually the master, and then mine's a slave, so he controls it most of the time. If I need, if he has to go do something, I can control it up front. So, well, Jerry, thanks. That's pretty much it. Really yeah. Good.